بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning my dear students We are going to start a new science journey with your teacher Muhammad Ismail Be ready and enjoy your time Our topic today will be about states of matter We know that states of matter are three states gas liquid and solid today we are going to learn what is the matter and what are the matter states now we are going to know what is the meaning of matter matter is anything or everything around us like cars, fruits, humans, juice, and oxygen cylinders everything around us at home or street or school we will call it a matter matter also is anything that has mass and volume and takes up space there are different states or phases of matter and changes can occur between these states now we are going to know the properties of each type of matter the three states of matter solids liquids and gas we know some examples and characteristics and or properties solid liquid gas Solid, for example, your computer or screen, they are solids. Here, you, you can see particles of matter. These particles are closely together. That means there is no intermolecular spaces between them or the intermolecular spaces are very very small also they have fixed positions solids are rigid and cannot be squashed has fixed shape and fixed volume that means its shape cannot be changed with easy ways okay or simple ways it has fixed volume its volume cannot be changed like water or gas that means you cannot control its volume if it has a piece of rock, this piece of rock has volume 1 cubic meter. Can you change the volume of the same piece of rock to become 2 cubic meters? Of course, no. That means it has fixed volume. Now, this is your computer screen has a fixed shape if you try to change the shape you should try to break it okay they also cannot flow now we are going to speak about liquids here also liquids as particles but here you can watch intermolecular spaces bigger than intermolecular spaces at solids they are also closely packed not as much as solids liquids are not rigid cannot be squashed 
no fixed shape and here why no fixed shape because we can control its shape by its container now if I use this class with one letters of water if I can change it with another class the shape of water will change but the volume cannot change because it's fixed volume now we are going to speak about gases for example helium helium is less dense than air unreactive element here not with me here these particles has are these particles have intermolecular spaces here these spaces are bigger than liquid and solids look here for the gas when you put it inside containers now it is not rigid okay can be squashed can be squashed i can control the movement of its particles inside any container also gases has no fixed shape and no fixed volume again gases are not rigid can be squashed has no fixed shape and no fixed volume i can control the change of its volume by changing its containers also no fixed shape i can control its shape by changing its container That's the end of our lesson today. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. Don't forget your homework. Have a nice day, my dear students. Bye-bye.